And, um, I just want to say the launch readiness review is complete and we are indeed go for launch. I want to thank our ULA teammates and of course our JPL teammates as well. Um, this has been an amazing team effort and I remember when I first came to the agency Thomas Zerbukin uh, came to me and said hey look we have a risk here the risk is Mars 2020. I said well what's the risk? He said well we might not go in 2020 um, and here we are just uh, a, a number of years later uh, but we are in fact going to launch what we now call Mars Perseverance in the year 2020 and I think the the name is is perfectly appropriate uh, a young man in Virginia named Alex Mather uh, a, a seventh grader is the person who named it and so um, we are we are in extraordinary times right now with the coronavirus pandemic um, and yet we have in fact persevered and we have protected this mission because it is so important we declared this mission to be essential and there's a number of reasons why and I'll just give you a few of them, some of the reasons that excite me the most. Uh, first of all, you know, the president gave us an objective to go to Mars with humans, to plant an American flag on Mars. Well, in order to do that, we have to be able to sustain human life on Mars. So there's a mission on Perseverance called MOXIE. It's a technology demonstrator. How do we use the carbon dioxide atmosphere of Mars and create pure oxygen that we can use for life support? So that's a really exciting mission that is a precursor to an eventual human mission to Mars. Uh, but there's so much more. When we think about the Mars Perseverance rover, for the first time ever, we're going to fly a, a, a helicopter on another planet. We call it Ingenuity. And of course, um, Ingenuity is going to be a, a tech demonstrator for this particular mission. But in the future, it could transform how we do planetary science on these other worlds. Um, and eventually be a scout so that we can figure out where exactly do we need to send our, our robots. But I, I think the other thing that's very important about this mission, this is the first time in history when NASA has dedicated a mission to what we call astrobiology. The search for life, either maybe, maybe now, or ancient life on another world. And of course, when we go to the Jezero crater, which is um, obviously a big crater on Mars, but it's also a former lake bed and it had a river that flowed into it and that river delta is a place where we believe there could be, I'm not saying there is, we don't know, but there could have been at one point in time uh, life. Um, we know that Mars had a, a very active atmosphere and a very active hydrosphere, that it was protected from the radiation of, of deep space at one time three billion years ago. In other words, Mars was at one time habitable. We know that because of past missions, spirit and opportunity. And now that we know what the history of Mars was, we can say, okay, maybe there was life there. Let's go find out if there was life on Mars. And in fact, the other exciting thing is we're going to cache samples. We're going to cache samples on the surface of another world for a future mission in 2026 to bring those samples back to Earth. And that will be the first time in history that we've done a Mars return mission. In fact, it's the first time in history we've done a return mission from any planet. So it's, uh, these are very, very exciting times. Very important mission for the United States of America, and of course a very, very important mission for the world. 